Whoa! What's going on over here, Wind? You starting to roll up on old Gray? Hello, everybody. Grace to Blaze, and we're back with more of the long dark in the story mode. Unfortunately, if you're seeing this, I wasn't able to get any of your suggestions and or comments in, and the reason why is because of Hurricane Irma. So I'm recording this ahead of time. Ahead of where I normally would record it and would have seen the response to the other video. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hopefully I won't get blown away. If I do, I guess there's always the long dark. Maybe I'll move to Canada. So I wanted to look- there's a freaking pry bar right there. So I wanted to take a minute to look all throughout this entire area here. As a matter of fact, we could probably do a better job searching in the very first area of the dev- Really? A whole file cabinet and nothing in it? Not even a thing of beef jerky? Come on, man. The reason why I say that is because I'm trying to remember now. Okay, so we did go through all this. I like to get down low every once in a while just to kind of see if there's anything else gloriously staring at me in the face. There does not appear to be- there's a bunch of like switches and stuff over here. Oh, what time did the power go out? Because all the clocks would stop at the same time, right? Well, assuming they had the clocks put at the right time, I guess. Over here in the bench, what should we find? I see something looming. Wooden matches right over there looking at us sideways. Also going to be abused for their fiery nature. Back in here, lots of colorful things as well as a broom. What do you get from the broom? One piece of wood. Wow. Feeling it. Ooh, the accelerant. Eh. I'll take it. Accelerant is one of those things where, like, most of the time you're just kind of looking at it with disdain. And then the one time you need it, you're like, man, I'm glad I kept that accelerant around. Lucky me. I really did this the proper way. But the rest of the time, you're just like, oh, this accelerant. It's just taking up weight and space. Over inside of our inventory, let us briefly check out. Our current pry bar, our current pry bar is totally fine. Our current pry bar is at 99%. I'm not worried about that at all. Let us continue in this direction. What is that? A metal shelf? A bunch of... I don't like any of these cans. Because all those cans of... I don't know what they are. But they look like... Uh, the, the milk... What is that called? The milk concentrate? <laughs> you know what it is? The milky thing. That you... <laughs> that you drink. And it's really high in... The calories, the condensed milk, that's what it is. Concentrated milk. It's more powerful than your other milks. Oh, do we have a little granola bar? We sure do. We could probably, oh wow, look at this. Salty crackers, cardboard boxes, mass hysteria, cats and dogs living together inside of this room. Oh, it goes both up and down. Okay, let's do that last. Hi there, random piece of cloth hanging out. Up, oh, sad music. The sad music begins to play as we pry our way through all of the various- Oh! Sp speaking of condensed milk, there you go! I'm finally rewarded with legitimate- Ooh, that looks like a real emergency kit. Oh. Another distress pistol. Alright, I don't care about that. I will, however, take all of these flare shells. They don't weigh very much, and quite frankly, I might as well start shooting everything with it. Feels like a lot of gear, does it? Let's eat some food then. Uh, what do we- Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go into our inventory. So that we can eat the food that is the heaviest. You can sort by weight down here, by the by. So right over here, this condensed milk. Fairly heavy, also very, very poor condition. So let's go ahead and chew this down. We might as well- Oh, slurp it. It sounded absolutely <laughs> disgusting. We got Borg of Beans and also some of these Pinnacle Peaches. Pinnacle Peaches also very, very heavy. So let's go ahead and crack this open with our can opener that we happen to have on us. And drink that down. That should get both our drink and our food almost back to full. And you can see over here, we're still fairly heavy on the encumbrance level. I kind of thought we don't need that. We don't need that either. Ooh, look at these sweet, look at this sweet mystery lake poster. These guys are living in backwater nowhere, and they have a fantastic artist on hand, though. Making some sweet posters. Alright, let us continue into the bathroom. Yeah, this place has completely changed, man. I'm so happy. Like, it would have been easy for the- Oh, hi there, trash can letter. Let's find out- Oh, there's a dead man. Right over there. I just saw it. We'll check him out in a second. Let's see what this has to say. I'm so effed off at you. 
I assume. You told me the forest talkers were legit and we'd be doing good work out here. All I've seen is a ragtag bunch of dummies who are disorganized and have no plan. It's way too cold to be out here in this time of year. And the wildlife, I mean, you didn't tell me there would be actual wolves out here. This is crazy. You can hear them out at night howling. It's making me crazy. What are we doing out here? People said Great Bear was hit hard by quicks, but man, I had no idea it was stuck in the dark ages. You owe me big time for bringing those supplies. And if the weather doesn't warm up soon, I'm out of here, and you will not be seeing me anytime soon. Well, guess what? I wonder if that's our man. Right over here. Right in the toilet. His last... His last uh, interaction with life. You know what? I'm going to take this water. Oh, it's so heavy. But again, it's just kind of nice. Weigh me down. It's kind of nice to not have to boil it ourselves. Ooh. The admin office key. Okay. As well as some cardboard matches. Now, sometimes... I'm going to duck down to see if I can see anything. Sometimes the developer hides little goodies right over here. And also sometimes in the hands of the people. Not in the hands, but like by their hands. There will be little objects and stuff. Now, can we bust our way in here? No, we can't. Is there another toilet with more water? There is. But that would be a lot of weight. As a matter of fact... Let's see over here. We've got another box over here. Let's check the entire lower floor before we go upstairs. And before we do that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here by the entrance and I'm going to drop off some crap real quick just to get our weight down. All right. I dropped a whole slew of stuff down. We should move much, much better now. Oh, yeah, that's way better. All right. Let's continue looking. So... This key, okay, this key does nothing for that. But let's just real quick continue looking over here. I want to make sure that I don't really miss too much important. At this point, like if I miss a scarf or if I miss a beef jerky, that is not at all a big deal. I am so not worried about that. It really doesn't matter. Realistically now, it's just a matter of not wanting to miss anything story-wise, like important-wise, like those keys and stuff like that. Could those end up being useful. A sport vest? No. A sewing kit I will take. We have a lot of sewing kits. I don't think that we're going to need as many as we have, but you never know. I may, burn through, I may burn through them all. There's also going to be, I think, five total chapters of this game. There's only two out right now. So we're on the second one right now. And then the other ones will come out as they do. So this goes downstairs, huh? Do I want to go upstairs or downstairs first? Let's go upstairs first. But before we do, let's just double check this elevator area. There's something under here? What is that? I guess that's just a texture. I guess that's really nothing. Over here, a whole bunch of stuff to look through. We've got plastic containers. I see, I saw another note on the uh, desk over there as well. Let's go through all these filing cabinets. Filing cabinets, fantastic for paperwork and keys, potentially. Although we were totally not lucky the last filing cabinet. Looks like the looks like all the filing cabinets are freaking cursed in this place. Sometimes, by the way, you'll find items inside of the little filing cabinet drawers that are open like this. One time I found a magnifying glass in one of those. That doesn't sound good. Use this. Well, another toque. But I don't need that either, really. That doesn't sound fantastic, but when you're in the interloper mode, man... Oh, more Stacy's Grape Soda. When you're in the interloper, a magnifying glass is, like, the freaking best. I mean, you see it, and you just ejaculate happiness. Is that a candy bar? There is. There's a candy bar way in the corner over there. Again, fantastic monitors, like keyboard, mouse, and computers. Is that a floppy disk? What are we doing here, boys? What are we doing with the floppy disks? Now, we have wool mittens, I do believe. We do. Brand new wool mittens, actually. Let us go ahead and grab this and read more about the sadness of the Carter Hydro Dam. Can we, do, like, does this take up weight, I wonder? It doesn't look like it does, because we can't drop any of it. Official looking notice written on Carter Hydro Dam letterhead. The letter is damaged, and some of the words are hard to make out. It's dated from sometime in the 90s? I'm sure this will come as no surprise to you, but ever since seismic activity on the island has become such an issue, it's been almost impossible to run Carter Hyde, uh, Carter Dam profitably. Besides that, in recent eco-activism, or let's just call it what it is, terrorism, has introduced new risks that have brought plant and worker safety into question. Therefore, I'm sad to report that after years of trying to modernize Carter, Carter Dam, and after failed attempts of its original creator, the, oh god, that's a word I'm gonna get wrong, Richard Carter, 
it is finally time for me to admit defeat. As he did those decades ago. No ambition of mine justifies putting your lives in danger. What a guy! All workers will be transported out as soon as we can guarantee your safety. In the meantime, please keep an eye out for any suspicious activity in or around the dam. The soul cold forest talkers are still active in the area. Thank you for your dedication to your cause. Yours truly, Robert Clark. Wow. A guy who cares about his workers? What is this coming to? What is this world coming to? All right. So all over here, we have searched. And I think what we'll do is we'll go upstairs first, and we'll see if there's anything cool up there. Well, there's an upstairs and a downstairs, come to think of it. Yeah, we'll just go upstairs first. What sort of glorious objects should we find? Wow, you go way... How big is this place? You gotta be kidding me! Alright, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. A lot bigger than I thought it was be. Good thing we got rid of so much crap over there in the beginning. Oh, there's so many drawers and stuff. Holy cow. All of my pack ratism really coming into question now. Oh, and I'm just leaving stuff behind left and right. A lot of it we just don't need. A cotton tooth, no big thing. Don't even care about that. Stacks of papers, nope. You are not valuable to me. What are all these little things over here? They look like, uh, like coffee cups or something. Way down low, nothing important. Over here, more drawers. All right, drawers. Show me the way. Show me the way to the next... Okay. Show me the way to the next nuts and stuff. Oh, we're going to learn more about the game right now. Crumble note. Oh, is that about a supply cache, you said? A hastily scribbled note pointing out a hidden supply cache. The penmanship on this note suggests the author was in a hurry. I left it in the cave. Head back out the dam, follow the river, look for a cave with a hunter's blind. Oh, okay. I think it updated our mission, too. So... For running all over the place and searching every nook and cranny, like, you do get rewarded. You know what I mean? Like, there is stuff that you- Oh, that looks important right there. That's a locker that's better than every other locker. That's exactly what we're looking for. But I still have to search all these drawers. You know I do. Enough with the extinguishing! The only thing I don't like is how if I manage to not click perfectly on one of these items, my little extinguishy guy tries to extinguish itself, which I don't necessarily want. Realistically, you don't need to have this thing on tin of coffee. I'm taking that, baby. You don't need to have this thing on the whole time. I'm just doing it for your guys' benefit because without it, it's a little bit dim in here. And that's not really the best experience. Ah, here it is. That's not really the best experience to have. Let's pry. Are you serious? I need a locker key. Come on now. All right. Well, that's fine. I've got pry bars for everything else. How come I can pry all these open, but I can't pry open the first aid locker thing? Ooh, peanut butter. More sewing kits as well. Alright, that's fine. The key's around here somewhere. You boys know it is. Don't care about that vest. Anyone? Anyone? Help a brother out. In here, nothing in the trash can. It's gotta be in one of these desks. You know it is. It's in one of these desks. We just have to find it. Come on now. Driving gloves, don't care about that. There's a lot of desks, man. This is like oh desk opening simulator 2000. A source of a source of knowledge is something to burn when you're freezing. It's like searching simulator 2017 over here. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. The big goose egg. What the crap? All right, that's fine. Chairs, boxes, nothing of importance, and a lot of old school freaking computers. Can't go out that way. Let us continue. Uh, nope. Come on now. You know you want to. Newsprint. No, it's not going to come in handy, buddy. It's just going to be extra weight weighing us down. I haven't even gotten down low recently because... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can take care of this. Uh, I can take care of this. Let's do it over here, though. Let's go over here. And then let's fill our lantern back up with delicious fuel. Because we've got plenty. Hold on now. You don't start dying on old gray. There we go. Now it's working nice and strong. If we have to, if we end up running out of a bunch of... Ooh. Oh, that was one of the keys we got. Yes. Come on, elevator. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It works? Okay, hold on. That's really weird. I didn't ever expect to hear any kind of electricity at all. But whatever. 
Uh, man, more nuts and stuff. The candy bars are actually really good. Hey there, Canadian flag. How you doing? They don't take any of their Canadian flags down as well they should. They were saying that, remember in the cabin, they were like, hey, take the Canadian flag down, it got all toe up. That was an extra, extra $7 we had to spend on that freaking flag. Don't you go costing running shoes. A light shell. Uh, I don't think that it's any good, but I'll check it out real quick. Uh, wow, really good against the wind chill, but not very good against much else. And it's the same weight. I'm not worried about it. Let's go ahead and drop that down. Over here, fishes. As well as, is that a cassette tape? Come on now. What, what are we doing over here? What are we doing over here with the cassette tapes? A lot of books and stuff too. Now these filing cabinets look cooler than all the other filing cabinets. Maybe it means something. Ah, a safe. Okay, the safe has to be it. Ooh, herbal tea. Yeah, I'll take the herbal tea. Herbal tea and coffee is very, very light. Now when you brew it, it weighs something. But without it, oh, a maintenance note? Without brewing it into something, there we go. Now we got it. We're still going to open up that for um, the locker, though. Because you know as well as I do, I want to know what's inside that freaking locker. It could be something important. Nope, nothing like that. That's safe, I should say. Now, what does this say? Elevator maintenance note. Okay. Let's check it out over here. What do we got? What do we got? Look at all the notes we have now. Carter Hydro Dam maintenance ticket. The elevator is acting up again. We've checked the mechanics and they seem fine. Must be something glitchy in the electrical system. Keep an eye on it. It's really the only way to the turbine room. If the elevator gets stuck, it'll be a long walk before you get back to the control room. All right. Well, I walk everywhere else. So what's the big deal? Quite honestly, inside the trash can, a whole lot of nothing. All right, boys. I'm going to go do the safety thing, and I'll be back with you in a second. Open sesame. What do you got inside for old Gray? What do you got for me here? Money, no. Money, no. Flare shell take. Book, no. Emergency stim, yes. All right. Eh. I'm not like, I'm not like blown away or anything like that, but it wasn't bad. Over here, more file cabinets to search. And in a second here, we're going to go ahead and bust open that first aid station. Now, there's still a lot more to this place to search. Uh... A lot more. That thing is getting to be absolutely annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and pull away from that real quick so we don't have to hear it anymore. Over here by the first aid station. Give me your medical bounties. What do you have for me? Help Jeremiah out. Medical supplies. Oh, it's totally weightless. Good. Good. Yes. Got a little bit of everything. Morphine. Looks expired. Looks expired. Never know. I'm sure it'll work just fine. Ah, uh, man, let's continue, though. You boys know as well as I do. There could be cool stuff lingering around over here. Oh, or not. Or it's just a dead end. Okay, that's fine. Hold on. I'll run down here real quick because, if you remember, so that goes out. There was a downstairs to this, too. Now, there may be nothing here. Okay, so there is nothing here. Well, not that there's nothing, but... There's there's nothing compared to the other stuff that we've seen pallets and the like which you can break up for wood So that is a thing. Oh, hold on. Let us go back over here. All right Let's just go toward the turbine room just to see what there might be I'm just curious now down here is where fluffy used to hang out You down here fluffy fluffy you down here Buddy All right, I don't see anything that is a dead man or woman Let's go ahead and check you out real quick. Nothing, huh? All right. Anything lingering around you? Nope, not at all. And this door is all busted up. Water main shut off out. Keep clear at all times. All right. Time to head back to Jeremiah. Get those supplies back to him. And then figure out what we need to do from there. Just cracking open some ice cold sodas. You can see how encumbered we are right now. So I'm kind of just drinking all these because they're super heavy. And that's also going to get us pretty fed and watered. Let us go head out of here. We got what we wanted. It sounds pretty bad outside, actually. On that old trapper. There we go. Oh, it's actually it's not that bad at all. Um, how we looking? Oh yeah, we're good. We've got plenty of we got plenty of stamina and everything to get us out of here. And the temperature's fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's a wolf right there. Okay, all right. So. 
I guess we're not going that way. Well, crap. That's a freaking problem. Oh, Carter Hydro Dam. Really, the wolf had to kill a deer right in the middle of the train tracks? Are you freaking serious? Okay. Um, new plan. We're going down this way. And is the weather starting to pick up? It looks like the weather's starting to pick up. I'm sure we'll be totally fine. We can't sprint, but I do still have my flare gun. Should I, my flare gun, should I need it? Yeah, cock that sucker back. i put you down my crosshairs. I'll even shoot a freaking deer with this thing if I have to. Deers shouldn't get in the way though. Again, cattail stalks for days. Remember boys, should ever you need a cattail stalk or a bunny, down here by the water is a beautiful place to do it at. Uh, there is just, there is everything down here. There is deer, there is cattail stalks, there is rabbits, there's a cattail stalk right there. We're gonna go ahead and wander past. I think, do I care about that supply cache? Uh, no, not right now. We've got too much gear on us anyway. I mean, I'll check it out eventually. I'm not just gonna leave it there. But maybe when we come back this way, because you know we're gonna have to come back this way, right? They're not just bringing us to the Carter Hydro Dam for the fun of it. We're gonna have to get that thing flowing and going one more time, however we do. Now the only problem is, is that the wind is killing me right now. Now one thing that we could do, eh, let me think about this. Yeah, let's do this. One thing that we could do is check out the trailers over here. There's some trailers over in that distance. We'll go ahead and give those a quick look, see, and see what what might be inside. Is there a wolf over there? See that little dot right there? Right there. That is most certainly a wolf. Most certainly. I'm pretty sure. I'm 90, 99% sure. Yeah, it's definitely a wolf. All right. So we're not going to head that way anyway, but that's fine. Like I said, I, I wanted to come this way anyway to show it to you guys. Check out the old deadfall area or whatever it's called. I think that there's three trailers over here. Now, there's also that forestry outpost, um, which, again, could have some good loot, but we're carrying a lot of stuff. Now, if we rest here for the night, if we rest over here by these, uh, these trailers, we could burn through a couple of cans of soda and stuff like that, maybe a little bit of water, and that would bring our weight limit down quite a bit. Now, what I should have done, and I totally didn't do it, is I should have dropped a ton of stuff back at the trapper's area in the beginning. Uh, that would have made a lot of sense because I have a feeling that the trapper's uh, homestead over there, whatever you want to call it, is going to be our place of operations just like Grey Mother's house was our base of operations for the other missions or chapters or whatever you want to call it. All right, so right over here, I should be seeing it. Yep, right over there. Right there. I can see the trailers at the moment. Again, still nice outside in the way that because of the style of clothing that we have right now, we are very well protected. Actually, we're very well protected from almost everything. Look at our protection level, 21%. We only have 83% of our ability to dash or sprint or whatever have you, though. That could be an issue. Anyway, let me head over here and I'll see you guys in a second. Welcome! One and all to the logging camp. Looks legit. Looks legit. Let's go see if there's anything new or exciting over here. Now, you always got plenty of your rose hips and the like. Get them right over here. Now, sometimes there's little goodies in here. Now, it looks like there is a fire log and some fire wood, which is fine, but nothing that we need at the moment. Let us go. Is that a person? See that right there? It looks like a person. Hold on one second over here. Let me just check something out. I just want to see if, uh, if old buddy over here got jacketed. Let's put our thing away. Nope, that is a rock. That is a rock that got very good. Got me good, rock. You did it. You did it. And the, the sad music begins to play because Gray doesn't, can't tell a freaking rock from a person. Oh, well. I should have looked for the crows. I think it's still nice enough to have crows outside, so we would have crows should there be a dead man around inside of the trailer we go. 
And what should we see? I'm going to conserve. Wow, more flares. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that flare there. I have so many flares, I don't want them anymore. Nobody needs this anymore. Granola bars, sewing kit. I think I'm gonna start leaving sewing kits behind too. I think we just have flat. Is that blood? That looks like blood over there. Hold on. There's something under the bed over there too. Hold on. What was that? Did you see that? Hold on. Let me uh, let me grab these various containers over here. No, I don't want any of those. Yeah, that's goo. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just broken glass. I thought it was blood. Would have been cool if it was blood, because I would have been like, but why? Jeans? No, I'm not gonna be wearing jeans out here in the freaking zero negative a billion degree weather. Cargo pants, not good enough. A pillow is fine if you have a knife. You can cut it up for extra cloth and the like. So in here, not a lot. Uh, a little bit of extra food, a little bit of extra drink. So all the food and drink that I'm going to try and burn through, we're actually getting more of it. <laughs> but whatever. I may even follow the zone edge all the way back to the trapper instead of using the main roadways. Well, the main railways, I guess I'll call it. Again, you need a knife for all this. Old bed rolls and stuff. Some people had said, like, pick it up because uh, we needed a bed roll in one of our other playthroughs. You can't pick those bed rolls up. They just kind of linger there looking at you sadly and depressed. To use this. What's with all the... You can't use that. You know better than that. What's with all the, the driving gloves around here? Who, who's wearing these things, man? The, the, the weather is absolutely atrocious. It's negative 8 billion degrees outside. Celsius, by the way, so that's even worse. And these guys are over here with their driving gloves on. What are you guys driving? Just going around this seeing if there was anything important. Like that key inside of any of those. Found another pair of combat boots. We don't need them. But if you were looking for a pair of combat boots, there you go. I'm just going to take another second look through the last trailer. And then we're going to go hit the hunter up. Well, the trapper up. All right. Nothing inside of any of those trailers. Fine. We're going to hoof it. We're going to hoof it the old-fashioned way. Slowly. Yes. Sadly, even. Now... We've got kind of a long walk over here. Uh, an old gray can get very, very lost, especially if this craptastic weather continues to roll in. It's going to be a slow slog, though, because we just, we're so encumbered and we can't sprint. And if the wind was to our back, it wouldn't be quite so bad. I also have to stay fairly vigilant for wolven activity over here because you never know. Right over there. Hold on. Wolf right over there. In fact, you know what? Change of plans. We're going, okay, now the wolf's going that way. Fine. You can't make up your mind? I'll make up my mind. I'll go this way. You go that way. We'll, be, we'll both be happy. How about that? You go get yourself a nice deer or something. The deer is just... Soft and fleshy. I'm filled with cargo pants and wool. You're not going to want anything you see over here, Wolf. All right, boys. We're going to have to take shelter up here. I actually ended up spraining both of my ankles just kind of like walking on the side over here, kind of like skyrimming around. We happen to have a little cabin over here, which is good. We can utilize this as an intermediary portion. It's a long walk, man. Especially when you can't sprint. Holy crap, it takes forever. Luckily, there's this tiny little cabin over here. There's a lake up ahead as well. Where I think there's going to be a, uh, like a hunter stand. Sometimes there's some good stuff there. I don't know how much time I want to waste with that right now. I kind of just want to get back to the, uh, the trapper. And get that all taken care of. Oh, there's two little outbuildings over here. I think that's just an outhouse, though. There shouldn't be anything inside of it. Let's just, uh, let's just look through the door real quick over here. No, there's nothing inside. All right. Inside. Of the sad little cabin we go and what should we find but glorious items of goodness let's go check this out over here now I do have at least a way I still have quite a bit of fuel left I'm not too worried about it like I said it's only a matter of time I'm sure before we stumble across more fuel holy crap there's a lot of stuff here uh, a whole bunch of books paperwork nothing really under there pillow metal container yeah we're gonna be sleeping here tonight boys I want to get my uh, I want to get my ankles back to working again anyway. That's probably a good thing to do when you're trying to survive. Man, what's with the stacks of paper everywhere? It's like stacks of paper 
for days up in this place. Chair. Well, there's really not that much here, actually. There's like some papers. There's some dead plants. Some cups that are of no use to us. Piece of cloth and stuff like that. All right. I'm going to go eat, drink, heal up, get to sleep, and hopefully it's a beautiful day out tomorrow so we can continue onward. All right. Sun's out. We're healed up. Pretty well fed as well. Looking good. All right. Doesn't look too bad. Let's continue to head onward here. And like I said, this cabin over here does go close to... Oh, I can run? Well, that's lucky. Well, run. I can sort of slowly and crappily jog, let's say. We're not going very fast. But like I said, this little cabin is right next to a lake. And the lake, which is right there, I do believe. Actually, I can probably put this away. The lake is, again, a good place for cattail stalks. It has a little bit of a river that flows from it. Yeah, there's the hunter's blind down there. All right, I'll go check it out. Hold on. We'll check out the hunter's blind, and then we'll go back over to the trapper and get that poor, that poor jerk healed up. There could be some good stuff down here. The only problem is if anything weighs anything at all, I'm not going to be able to take it with us. I'm already sickeningly encumbered at the moment. Let us go ahead and Skyrim our way down here as we do, like so. Like I said, if you crouch, I like to think of it like sliding on your butt down these little areas over here so you don't end up breaking your arms and legs, which is not a good fun time over here in the long dark. Hey there, dear. How you doing, honey? Why don't you go freaking bugger off? Because I got stuff to check out. Yeah. Deal with it, dear. Go attract all the wolves for me, too. I don't really feel like getting eaten. Is that a piece of log out there? It looks like a piece of log out there. Eh, there's a newsprint roll. There's a backpack. Maybe there's something inside. Jeans, craptastic, steel beef jerky, I'll take. And then out here, and it does look like just like a piece of wood or something. Uh, yep. A little bit of cedar firewood. All right, moving onward. Whoa. Whoa. What's going on over here, wind? What's going on over here, snow? You starting to roll up on old gray? Yeah, man, we got some serious wind going on out here. Got a wolf right over there as well. It doesn't look like it's blizzarding yet. But I'm not too happy about what I'm seeing right now. We should be fairly close back at the trapper's cabin. Just got to see if I can get there. Oh, walking into the wind is friggin' horrible. Oh, it's absolutely dreadful. I didn't want to leave all my stuff back at that cabin either, the one that we were just at, because I don't know if we're really ever going to go back that way. The only things that are over there that I'm interested in was that outlook, that little, that tiny little, uh, that tiny little hunting thing. And that singular cabin, which really didn't have very much for us at all. So it was kind of a bust. All right. It just looks like we ended up with a lot of wind. I freaking sprained my ankle again. I'm not even on an incline. Well, I kind of am. But it's not that bad. I can't sprint at all. That's fine, though. Right over there. We made it. We just got to get on back. We go hop, skip, jump right around here. I think you could go around the back way as well. I wonder if this weather is uh, planned, like if it's part of the storyline. As you get closer and closer to the cabin over here, the weather's supposed to get worse and worse. Kind of like a little, a little story time fun. You know how it goes. Let's go ahead and wrap things up though. Right in here. This guy better not be dead when I get inside. I'm gonna be so sad if like we get inside and he's just covered in like gangrene and he's all done for. All right, I imagine there's gonna be a cutscene over here. Hey, old guy. Hey. Hey, you still with me? Shit. I'm too late. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I normally try to keep quiet, but I kind of figured that was going to happen. Hey. You're still alive. Uh, what's your name? <coughs> Call me 
Jeremiah. I went to the den. I found some supplies that should help. Oh, thanks. Because my insides hurt like hell. <sighs> what did you find? General meds. Painkillers, antibiotics, and what looks to be some old vials of morphine. <laughs> morphine? Easy. Hopefully your pain won't get that bad. You alone out here? <sighs> What's it to you? What the hell are you doing out here anyway? Hey, don't get excited. I'm just looking for someone. The only thing you should be looking for is a way to kill that bear. Bear? Yeah. He'll be back soon enough. And when he is, I'll be ready. Shit. Ready for what? He can barely sit up. Uh, that bear is a man killer. If we don't finish him off, no telling what savage fury he'll unleash. We? I'm, I'm just on my way through the area. That bear's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Listen, stranger. You aren't going anywhere. Like it or not, you and me have a problem in common. Neither of us is going to survive. Unless we kill that damn bear. Wow. Everyone in this area is very standoffish. Hey, how's your pain? Everything hurts like everything hurts like hell, but I'll live. You want something stronger than painkillers? No. Yeah, I do, but I'll be okay. You seem pretty excited when I mentioned morphine. Morphine, now nah, the stuff's dangerous. Especially the old stuff. Addictive. Makes you feel like you're floating in a dream. Right. What's the story with this bear? Story's real simple. That bear and me, we have unfinished business. Unfinished business? Yeah, you could call it a trading kind. Every time we meet, we leave each other- We leave with a little of each other's blood! Sounds like a losing proposition. I'm sure it will be for one of us. And finally, the area. Can you tell me more about the area around us? Whole area takes its name from Mystery Lake nearby. Not much here. Some old cabins here and there. Railway passes through campground around the lake's closed for the season. Mostly dead- Oh, mostly dead most of the year. You alone out here? Pretty much, this whole island's mostly abandoned now. A few scattered groups left. No real industry! Rare supply broke from the mainland. It's really the only lifeline we few folks... That's, o that's really the only lifeline for the few folks that still live on Great Bear. Sounds like a pretty quiet place. Just the way we like it. We! You're from the mainland, you wouldn't understand. So we've got more over here. Alone, damn, and finished. You alone out here? Yeah, I keep to myself, hunt a bit, fish in the summer, keep my trap lines full. Once every couple of months, I head down to Rupert's Landing, trade for what I need. You have some way to call out of here? Like a radio? No. Who do I need to talk to? Don't like people much? I don't. Okay. Seems like an odd, seems odd to have a dam in such a pristine piece of wilderness. Yeah, this place has always been ruined by greed. The dam looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yeah, the big quake years ago shut that nonsense down. Quake. You, shit, you didn't know anything, Mainlander. Uh, I guess I must have forgot. Rail railroads, coal, logging, mining, hydro. The whole island's basically a perfect wilderness that's been slowly destroyed by industry over the past, oh, 100 years or so. That's kind of a progress, right? People need jobs, need to feed their family. That doesn't matter. Quake put an end to all that. And things are changing. What things? Haven't you noticed? Since the light's in the sky, the world is quiet now. Yeah, it sure is. There's more? Oh, okay, and that's it. All right. You see those lights so, in the sky? Oh, the all right. Sky. Apparently there's more. Yeah. I saw them. We see the northern lights this far up, but I've never seen anything quite like that. I'm a bush pilot. Those lights took my plane down. Nearly died in the crash. Now I need to find my... I had a passenger with me. Dead. I sure hope not. We were on our way to Perseverance Mills. You know it? Shit, nothing town. A few hours north. Sounds about right. Yeah. 
I know it. You're the first person I've seen in months. I haven't seen your friend. The phone lines are down. Nothing electrical seems to be working. You think it has something to do with the flash of light? Uh, could be. Wildlife's been acting weird, too. Wolves, mostly. Hanging around more than usual. Like they're waiting. Waiting? For what? I don't know. But I have a bad feeling about it. Look. Maybe we can help each other. I don't know. I need to get out there and look for my friend. Well, I have an idea that might help you find who you're looking for. But with that bear out there, and me laid up in here, well... You're as good as dead. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you have in mind? Well... With that bear on the prowl, you'll never survive long enough to find your friend. And I can't do shit from in here. But I can guide you. You do what I say, and I'll keep you alive. And what's in it for you? Uh, we'll talk about that. But first, you need some protection. Hand me my rifle. Ah, oh, shit. What I was afraid of. That shot you took hurt the rifle more than the bear. My rifle's done. Shit. Sorry. You have a backup? No. No backup. But I know where you might be able to fix it. Great. Where? <laughs> Old railway yard. About a day's travel south. Along the tracks. There's a machine shop there. I used to trade for time on the tools to keep my gear in order. Bush pilot like you should be able to handle them. I'll see what I can do. Listen. Stay along the tracks. Keep your eyes open for the old bear. If you see him, hide and pray he doesn't pick up your scent. Don't get cocky. Or we'll both end up dead. Got it. Good luck, pilot. Maybe we'll make a survivor out of you yet. All right, and there we go. Achievement unlocked the old Trapper. Boys, hope you're enjoying the long dark on the story mode. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love. <laughs>